how do you get a fan like me to get more excited for DC content? You do part two of the fandom. Nerd. What's going on guys? Nick from Nerd Culture and today I'm talking about the DC Fandom Part 2 that was announced to be released on October 16th, the day after my birthday. Happy birthday to me, early. Yeah, now we're talking! Yeah! Ow! Shh. Now if you don't know what this is, this was when COVID first hit, Comic Con was canceled, DC, Warner Brothers had a lot of stuff to announce, couldn't do it. So they came up with the Fandom. 24 hour event, get people hyped, excited, and even pumped up for new content coming out in the coming year, coming years. It gets a lot of people hyped with what's to come. Me personally, super excited. I geeked out and what made me really excited were a few things. The Suicide Squad video game that was to be released, the Batman trailer, which was Fuego, and the Snyder Cut first look. That was the first look at what we got. But now with another one on the way, there's a lot more DC content to be announced and released, and I want to go over at least four things I believe will be there to show up, participate, and get me excited. And I hope they do too for you. Well, we're waiting. Number one is Injustice 3. Now, I don't know if you know this, I'm a bit of a fan of the series. I don't know. I mean, it's just a hunch, to be honest. But. I think it has a huge chance of being announced because in the original one, Ed Boon was seen to be showing up. Wasn't really there, didn't really announce anything, but I think this one will be the time to announce Injustice 3, give the first look, not gameplay, but I do think there will be a world premiere, a cinematic trailer of what can be teased, who will be the main villain, at least the bare minimum. But overall, I think it will make an appearance, I think of some sort. Probably more of a cinematic trailer. I don't think gameplay, because I think we're far off from the game actually releasing, maybe not till April to keep with NetherRealm's schedule, but I do think it has a high possibility of at least being presented for the first time to the world. Number two is a two-parter, technically. It's the Suicide Squad game that was announced and the Gotham Knights game, both announced, oddly enough, at the last DC fandom. And the reason I say this is because the Gotham Knights game was delayed till 2022, and the Suicide Squad game is initially supposed to be released in 2022 as well. I do think Suicide Squad gets pushed back, but we will wait and see. But to be honest, these games, ever since originally announced, nothing. Zilch. They have went in incognito mode, no news, no nothing. All we had was the delay for Gotham Knights. I think this is the time they show off real gameplay. They let some people hands-on, hopefully a worldwide demo. Because we really haven't had a Batman-centric game, a DC game in quite some time. Not fighting games, but like open world, having fun, like beating up the guys. We haven't had one of those at least in a few years now. And if I'm being honest, I need to see more from the Suicide Squad game because that has a lot more, to me, it has a lot more hype around it and there was no gameplay shown. Gotham Knights, we at least had a mini demo of like getting up to Mr. Freeze and what that could be, but nothing special. But to me, the crown jewel is Gotham Knights because it takes place after Batman Arkham Knight, which means that storyline is continued and you get to beat up the Justice League. You literally get to fight the Justice League. How is that not priority one? Numero uno. And to be honest, this might be the closest we'll get to an actual Justice League game. Yay. Number three is a three-peat actually, because I want to see more of the Batman, I want to see more of the Flash movie, and I want to see Black Adam, because why? Dwayne, The Rock, <laughs> Johnson. That's why. Now, to start off with Batman, because that trailer got me hyped, and if it didn't get you hyped, you are living under a rock and you're not a fan. I'm only kidding, but you are, me my be. But in all honesty, Matt Reeves, the director, has come out with the trailer. It wasn't even fully finished the movie. It was still in production during this time. And it's been in production, it was delayed, blah, blah, blah. I need the movie, I want more, give it to me now. Warner Brothers, do it right and do it fairly. And to move on, speaking of Batman, the Flash movie. Why? One, the Flash has been way overdue for a movie. Two, 
It's been through seven directors. Finally, Andy Muschietti got it. Three Supergirl was announced. Awesome. I'm excited to see where they go with that. And four, Michael Keaton is back as Batman. There was even pictures leaked of the original Wayne Manter from the Tim Burton Batman films, which is pretty awesome to me. And to be honest, I want to see this done live screen. I want to see who the big bad is. I want to see where the story goes. Is it really Flashpoint? Are we really going full force with it? I'm dying to see it. I need to see it. And I want to see what the effects of this will have on the DCEU as a whole. Not just on this movie, as the whole cinematic universe. Because Lord knows, no one is safe apparently because Warner Brothers keeps like slashing and making big decisions. And third, I want to see more updates, a trailer or something for Black Adam, Dwayne The Rock Johnson's movie, because again, Dwayne The Rock Johnson as Black Adam, way too perfect. But in all honesty, what really got me hyped was Pierce Bronson cast as Dr. Fate. Dr. Fate is like on the low key, one of my favorite superheroes because of the way he fights and uses magic against it and the way the helmet takes control with Naboo. I love it. And if you don't know who Pierce Bronson is, he played. Thank you, Mr. My name is Bond, James Bond. That should get you hype enough, but I am excited with how the story goes because it's going in a weird direction, making Black Adam like an anti-hero. I'm fine with changing things for the sake of changing them for a movie, but make them make sense. Don't just do it to do it, if that makes sense. I need a purpose for it and why it would happen. Because if you just make him a hero because you want him to, or an anti-hero, it doesn't work. Because he is the villain, and he's going to be fighting Zachary Levi as Shazam. You need to make it that way, but I am excited for this film. Do not get me wrong. And last, but certainly not least, is the Green Lantern Live action series for the love of god give it to me give it to me now it was announced at a shareholders meeting when it was discussed what hbo max would be guess what nothing nothing announced nothing shown nothing even remotely close to when it will come out give it to me give it to me now let me enjoy this because green lantern needs a win my god the man needs a win help me this is not a test it's the real deal help me me! Bro, just... I like Green Lantern. Give me the show. Just give me the show. And that's gonna do it. But what do you guys think? What do you want to see from DC fandom? Do you think more big, big announcements will come? Do you think the DC world is in good hands with Warner Brothers? Leave a comment down below. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. Like the video. This is DC Nerd, and I will see you guys later.